I will go into the Google translation and it has Spanish and it have like the Spanish will say No enthusiasm is seen, no one responds to anything. Right. What is needed here is to train and get out of the routine. <laughs> ask them certain questions and we want to see how quick we think um, because this sports that quick thinking sports you know I don't ask them anything out of their way anything personal I'll just say you know, if someone come and just say listen we know Venezuela and here in this in this place where you are you are documented yes where is the document I have it here so fast quick action not looking and fumbling and getting these kind of nervous so I train in the athlete's mind, especially for the sport. So when they're playing the sport, you know exactly what you have to do. Come on, on the head, eh? Come on, come on. Come on, come on, bump. Bump Caesar. Come on, bump. Come on, right? So, he, he would, yeah. this is your ball. This is your ball, this is my papa, my ball. This is the volleyball dog, right? And he said, remember what teacher other said, Caesar? All right, you remember what teacher other said? And the hands here, and the hands here, right? And you set, right? And you push it off. <laughs> um, it's, it's so old. In this picture, you would have been seeing where I came from the Challengers Volleyball Club. The first picture I have, this was the club I went before. And then you will see the present team, the Challengers, the Spanish volleyball team. This was the tournament that they win. Women win their first tournament, first place National League, Development League. Um, the, post, the, the trophy that I really are proud of where the discipline of Challengers Volleyball Club. I will show you. Exactly. Um, see in the back, Perry, where I had my name on it. So it's my number. I play with from the national team and I play from clubs. I went to the bank and I had on this t-shirt and Jesus came in there and he told me, he said, um, hi Perry. And I said, hi, you know me? He said, no, I just see a jersey and I call it Perry. And then he asked me, what is jersey all about? And I told him I just play volleyball. And he said, why well, I'm here a long time, but I was looking for a team. And I went to a club. The people said that how they didn't want no Spanish on the team. And I tell you, so I said, oh, but I was, you come with me, Brits. So this is the, the generation of the Challengers Volleyball Club, the young generation of the Volleyball Club. So from here, these athletes stays in Challengers Volleyball Club. We've seen Spanish children, or five of them. First, it started just by meeting Coach Perry. He already had a club, Challengers Club, registered with the Federation. But at the same time, because we were Venezuelans, we couldn't play in the National League because it, it was a competition mostly focused on local development, which is something that I completely understand and I respect. But at the same time also, I was kind of hoping that I could be integrated because I don't stand a chance to go back to Venezuela to practice the sport. This is here where I'm living right now. There were some members of the board of the Federation sitting there. And Mr. Perry stood up and said, you know, they are not longer Venezuelans or, or, or migrants or anything else. They are people. They are people. And they are not here in this country by choice. If they had a choice, they would have stayed in their homeland because people prefer to be in their homes, you understand? So he, he real stood up for us there and he said that he was willing to give his club just for Venezuelans to be part of the sports and that he would do anything for us to make that happen. So that, those words kind of shocked the, the, the board members who were there. And, and I remember with some of the other um, clubs kind of supported him in that aspect, probably 90% of everybody who was there. And then, uh, then at the end, well, uh, we left the room and they started to talk, I guess, discussions about what, what to do. And then when we came back inside, they said that they, they, they decided that they would allow the Venezuelans to be part of the club. It was an amazing moment, really, yeah. We were very happy. One foot in front. Uh-huh, bend down. And then jump it a little bit. Good. Wow. 
I'm from Venezuela. I have been in Trinidad for over 20 years. There are no many activities in which the migrants or Venezuelans are involved. So the nature of challenges is 99% Venezuelans. So seeing that most of them belong uh, to my country, my own culture, I have the opportunity to speak the language more frequent, you know, and um, knowing that they are here under a particular status, I feel um, compelled to help them, to or orient, guide them whenever there is something to be done. They can call me, Mildred, where I can go, what I can do, how this is work. So I know the system, I know the culture in Trinidad, so I feel that I have that capability to support them more being here. Right, out, out, the lady has to clean. Watch manage. Them going and play after, eh? Half court, they get a chance to play. So just remember, if only watch, watch a Mariani, we see watch. Watch. See, it's two. I was a young boy, like, yes, he wanted to play a sport, do my school. I never think, like, I had to come out from my country to work or something, take money. But everything changed, so I had to do it. O sea, es un equipo. Todo el equipo funciona en armonía. La cuestión es que yo vine a apoyarlas porque dentro de dos semanas tenemos un campeonato. Digo tenemos, yo no voy a jugar, pero o sea, el equipo lo tiene. Y no vinieron, no sé por qué, si están trabajando, si están descansando, porque muchas veces ellas trabajan todos los días y necesitan descansar. Normalmente todas tienen el domingo para descansar. Por eso te digo que a veces tomamos el deporte como eh, vamos a desestresarnos, vamos a olvidarnos de los problemas del trabajo, de la casa de Venezuela, de ese tipo de cosas, ¿me entiendes? Entonces puede ser que casi todo el equipo esté estresado o no sé. Good, good, again, again. Si tenemos un campeonato dentro de dos semanas y no vienen a entrenar, oye, es complicado. So this week we will know the schedule when we play. Right. If it's Monday, it's a, a it's a holiday Monday. Oh, the next if it's a holiday, holiday. Okay. every holiday has a work way. Chicken killer. Chicken killer. Maybe we send Stefan to kill the chicken. We still check on the kill the chicken. No me veo un futuro en Trinidad. Al menos que tenga un apoyo y una estabilidad en el trabajo. Es duro y fuerte porque aquí uno no duerme. Uno el emigrante no duerme. Explotan a uno con el trabajo pesado. Nosotros lo hacemos es por nuestra familia, porque lo queremos. Para un bienestar de nuestra familia. Pero hay personas que abusan de uno y no nos cancelan. Por ejemplo, ya a, mí, a mí me ha pasado ya dos, en, dos en dos oportunidades que los señores no me han pagado. Y todavía no me han, de hecho, todavía no me han pagado. Está uno que me debe tres semanas de trabajo y el otro me debía dos. Pero y si uno no tiene un apoyo de alguien, no, no va a conseguir nada, porque ellos lo que dicen es que unos inmigrantes, chao, no, no tenemos derecho. You know, the only thing that doesn't come through my eyes is tears when I deal, deal with my athletes to see that the struggle they are going through, especially in our country. Some of my girls called me this morning and she said, Coach, you know, they went looking for a job and they went to the bar and people feel that they could just come and pull their skirts or pull their pants. And I told them, I said, well, you need to report it to Mildred because Mildred works with the police. What happened to the kids? They need an education also because they will become part of my nation and that is their beloved Trinidad and Tobago and they become a part here. Expecting some of them again more, is it? As you can see here today, we ask some of the athletes to come. It's a struggle where some of the athletes is concerned. 
if you notice on the court yet, uh, at least you know you have still two of the guys, still four of the guys still doing something. And on the court on the other side, you'll see some of the youngsters and the juniors. They they are playing in three time in tournament this week. They've a chicken killer finish work and he has to come here. Um, some of the other guys, Miguel finish work, he has to come. Some of them on the job still. And Emil is one of them would have come and, and um, he sent a message on my phone saying, Coach, he have tried to get work for this week and he has nothing to eat for his family. After I finish training, I'm going to find myself by his house to give him some money so he can sustain his family for whatever little bit I can give him until he can get some jobs. <laughs> Y me ha tocado estas tres semanas caminar, 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 porque la compañía donde estoy está parada por la lluvia. Paso los días que no trabajo, comienzo a caminar para buscar trabajo. Como hay días buenos, como hay días malos que conseguimos para trabajar un día o dos días, Si uno no trabaja, no podemos ayudar a nadie. Y es indispensable. I knew the coach, Mr. Perry, from before. I used to play a Tobago team, because I'm initially from Tobago. I didn't know, or it never came to mind, that, it, that people would have come from Venezuela, or migrate from Venezuela to come to Trinidad and be playing volleyball, you know, I didn't come to mind. And I came and I see them play and it's really some bunch of good guys. You know, the energy, everything, you know, and the guys are real good guys. They welcome you with open arms. You know, it was never no form of negativity. There are so much, there are way more challenges when it, when it comes to the guys. Way more than, um, I don't think I should have really, you know, disclosed, <laughs> but a lot with their family, a lot, a lot with their family. Um, some of them got a kind of head start, but the problem with it, even though they, are, they had the head start with, with working and stuff, the problem is when the time to get pay, they don't get pay, they get paid less, and they, and they can't do anything about it because it has no body governing them. So they just have to just take it, you know. Otra persona en el trabajo se cortó la mano. So I had him occupy this place. So he had to go to the hospital or something. I wasn't going. We asked for some games after six, but they would not allow that sometime all the time. If you hear, we are games on a Saturday and a Sunday. As you know, David is um, sees about chickens. He's the only person there and his boss depends on him. I might lose him. por este bueno yo de mi parte porque no tenía dinero estaba, tra estaba tratando y de ayudar a los muchachos y los muchachos me decían vamos vamos pero uno sin trabajo no puede porque es como a veces yo le digo a ellos no puedo dejar mi familia a un lado las necesidades de la casa y me enfoco en lo que me gusta porque como soy profesor de educación física Amo el deporte. El deporte es paz, paz, unión, donde todos somos iguales. No hay, no tenemos diferencia. Porque estoy aquí que, con las ganas de correr allá. Te extrañamos también, te extrañamos muchísimo. Claro. Well, Fabiola is the mastermind behind the female team. Fabiola is my first cousin. She is related to me by blood. Right, we grew up together, we went to the same school. But in 2019, she gave me a call and said, Mildred, I am in Trinidad. So I was so excited that she's here. A long time that we haven't seen each other since I left the country. And uh, then she told me I'm playing volleyball. We have a game and this game was in Takarigua. When I went, yes, in fact, she was there. My other cousins were there, her sister was there. And she told me she has a, a group of female to join in the team. 
and she invited me to be part of it. My first uh, game was on the challenges after, may say, 30 something years. <laughs> Bueno, yo realmente no, no, no podría porque vivo demasiado lejos y se me hace muy difícil para acá. Tengo una niña, entonces el poco tiempo libre que tengo es que vengo un ratico y con eso me voy. El otro día ya estoy, fin de semana sí, un fin de semana no, cuando puedo. Pero no es todo el tiempo. Estoy en el equipo de Challenger porque somos latinos. No, no hemos incluido en un equipo local de Trinidad. Sería buena. En mi punto de vista sería buena. Pero por ahora sí, solo con personas latinas. Miren a Fabiola, miren a Fabiola. uniforme, Que vengo a luchar, a echar para adelante. A buscar solución donde en mi país no lo puedo encontrar, pero de la forma correcta a buscar un bienestar por nosotros y por nuestras familias. Y si estamos acá, es por ellos. No, por lo menos las mujeres no vienen para acá a trabajar como ellos piensan que vienen a trabajar. Aunque sí es cierto, algunas vienen a eso, pero no todas las mujeres somos así. Cuando la independencia was coming across, the whole country had a kind of stigma against them for that whole period. So I think some of the players at that time, so they were a little skeptical, uh, apart from like, like why are they being here? And you know, all these regular questions that ask, who is them, they like, why they? And some, but when you realize, just like everybody else, providing for their families, playing just like everybody else, regular jobs, and they come to do the same thing, they love of volleyball. They all come down to the love of volleyball and they come in here and they perform it. Even better than some of the teams here. Hoy limpié una casa de un familiar de Perry. So did you get um, good money for your family? Yeah, yeah. Um, how is your work? And is it good for you, for your rent and your family and the food and everything? In Working hard every day. No, para derecho. And, so, and the salary is different. Right. When I work now, I, I win 20, uh, $200 all day and the local people win 350 why my work no is different you know i understand um so it's 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 very unfair to see that they work you very hard and pay you less yeah and you have the registry you came here and registered yeah as a, as a, as a venezuela to make your life better some come with knowledge and knowledge is the key to the sports Nosotros no pedimos mucho, aunque sea que no incorpore en, al, en la rama de cada quien, para nosotros trazar el desarrollo del país, desarrollar todos los deportes aquí en Trinidad, ponerlos de alto nivel, competitivo a las Olimpiadas. As the caretaker security, it, it is my pleasure to enjoy watching the Venezuelan team practice at this location. And what I am seeing is future uh, players that could represent Trinidad and Tobago and even go to the international scale. I'm happy that they're here and I'm you know, looking forward to seeing great things from them because they, they have been contributing and they are contributing positively to Trinidad and Tobago. And I look forward to seeing what they bring in the future and this inclusion is something to look forward to. But Trinidad has to be a little more open-minded of give the opportunity to others. Let's share. Let's share. Tengo unos amigos trinitarios que son como mis hermanos. Para uno trata de zumbar caro en el voleibol, que los muchachos nos hacemos sentir. Ese es un momento de aquí que es como decirle a uno, uno se olvida del mundo, de lo que estamos viviendo y nos enfocamos en lo que nos gusta, lo que es el voleibol. Y eso es un despejo, un momento. De que a veces uno dice que hasta el cabello se le cae uno al estrés. Well, let's be grateful. One day, it should, if you reverse it, that should have been me, and this person can be the other person. And always remember that. 
always remember it always has a table turn as a coin has two sides a coin has two sides and no way it comes to one side all the time Thank you.